before the program was a total mess. I got to a point where I was um, I sleep deprived for six months and I got so depleted and so low that I was having end of life thoughts and I admitted myself to a hospital because of those thoughts that scared me to death. And at the hospital, they highly recommended that I go into a day program. And I was like, a day program? What is that? And so she said, it's like having two to three years of weekly counseling, only it's compacted into three or four weeks for maybe five to six hours a day. And it, because of the intensity, you accomplish so much more. So I'm thinking, I want to do that. I need that. I need to figure out what I thought I needed was to figure out why would I let myself go for six months on two hours of sleep. It was so apparent when I came here that the foundation of this whole program is the Word of God and that the counselors that participate and, and interact in your life and help you process through your life, that they are grounded in God's Word and then out of that they're listening to Holy Spirit because how else would they know what what to help you work through? And it, the whole process for me is just a God a God story, another one in my life. The most difficult part was my first day um, with my counselor tomorrow, and um, she spent time getting to know me and share a little bit about herself. And then she said, "Tony, I think you need to write a letter to your dad." And to preface that, I came from a very abusive home. Myself and my three sisters were abused on all levels. And um, I had to come to terms with that. And so I'd been in counseling three times before this. When she says, Tony, I'd like you to write a letter to your dad. And me, I go, no, I am not writing a letter to my dad. I've already taken ownership of my abuse. I understand it. I know how it's impacted me. And she goes, wait, wait. No, I want you to write a letter to your dad to claim the things that he stole from you. Wow. And so we spent time working on that, and I had no idea how much my dad had taken from me. Taken my siblings, my family, my voice, my friends. We weren't allowed to have friends. In writing that letter, I reclaimed those things from him. And I felt led to offer them to God, to offer myself to Him again. And Tamara said, I think you should read that in group. And so in group, um, Dr. Coburn is our leader of group. And so I said, I have a letter to read today. And I said, but I want to stand up in front of you. And so I stood up in front of him and I took the authority with my dad for the first time. And I, and I told him, I said, everything that you took through our abuse, God meant to treasure and wants to use it to build his kingdom. And it was so powerful and so impacting in my life. I am forever indebted to what the Lord has done to this program, to the Catalyst program. For more information about Catalyst or for a personal assessment to determine if the program is a good fit for you or a loved one, please call us at 1-888-7-CLINIC or visit us at meyerclinics.org.